Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration, Cross Storia 2, and AAI Vehicles. So, today we're going to make the spaceport on our space platform site. And I had a little bit of a think about it, and I think I already know how we're going to do it. For now, we're going to use this ship over here just to basically get our first move in. So let's... Okay, it, it went to the correct way. I just pressed launch without thinking. Um, so where do we want this thing to be? Um, I would say I want it over here. And maybe a little bit further down. Here is where we're going to be building the thing. I think I... What? <laughs> I automatically docked over here. That's what happened. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> One more try. <laughs> that was slightly confusing. Anchor. Especially if you're in this menu and then suddenly you're already anchored. That is technically a bug, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make it over here. There we go. Yes, this is where we want to be. So, what do we need? Um, well, we can at least get the counterpart from over here, uh, which is going to be this part, tiles and all. And this part over here needs to be over there. There we go. Now, let's wait for, for the bots. Oh, do we even have range over here? Ah, oh, we don't really have that much range over here, do we? Um, no, it seems to do a range over here. Perfect. There we go. Good. So that will be the full landing platform. Now, um, let me just have a quick peek at this. We need to make this a little bit more, how to put it? Mm, yeah, I think I know how we're going to do it. Um, the thing I want to do over here is I also want the station to be set up in a way that we can automatically turn it on and off. And that's going to be slightly complicated, but not too complicated. There we go. Make me this, please. There we go. There we go. There will probably be some pipes going this way. Um, but for now, we're just going to plan it like this. And this is perfectly fine. Good. Oh, there we go. Thank you, bots. There we go. There we go. So, first and foremost, um, we only want the Dr. Spaceship over here if these tanks over here are empty. Which means we need to push the contents of these tanks somewhere else. And I was kind of thinking about something like, and now we need like a little bit more. Yeah, let's add two more rows. A little bit more of a girth over here. We could add a tank over here. Actually, why not? Sure, let this be the main tank. And then we can just do the, the classic thing we have always been doing. This will be the main tank. And then, um, is that a pipe of nine? That is a pipe of nine, perfect. Um, and then we need some space pipe. And then you go like this and that. Actually, you know what? Yeah, just do like this. This will be fine. This will be fine. Good. So all the contents over here will be pushed into this tank. And then this over here will be the main output. Um, I would also prefer if we could set the power pulse up over here in a way that we do not interact or get close to the spaceship over there. Um, there we go. Have a little bit of a fly around. There we go. We might add one more latch to this one. Mm, yeah, that's a little bit suboptimal. Um, we can fix it later. Uh, and by later, I mean now. For that, we need some copper cable. I don't have some copper cable on me, but if you switch over to your uh, navigation mode, you can definitely do the cables by hand. There we go. That should be fine. That should be fine. And then we can just switch back. And then we're good. Good. And then over here, one more connection. Good. So all the stuff will be going out over here. We do need to set up some automation signals next. Um, we might also want to re ammo this place. And that's the thing. Um, that's going to be a little bit of an issue over here on this side. Since ammo is only coming in from one side at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. We could redesign the ship a little bit more. What we could do... Let's let's try something real quick. How am I stuck over here? What happened? <laughs> um, we do need one power connection over here. Can we? No, that will not be enough space. I kind of like the power pull over there. 
Uh, I was kind of hoping we could bleed out these turrets. We can do that, actually. We can fetch out of the air. Uh, we might also maybe, maybe, just maybe want to make the ship a little bit more sturdy at the front. Um, so how about we do something like this? We definitely want to add that. That's definitely something we want to add to this one. Um, and then we don't really want the chests in here uh, for extra bullets. That is definitely not something we want. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now we're definitely a little, a little bit more sturdy at the top. Um, and this way around, this cannon over there will run out sooner or later. Um, let's have a bit of a redesign over here with the guns. Mm, let's see. I do like having guns in the ship. Main reason, it does make the whole process a little bit easier. But I also kind of only want to have like one place where we load the guns. Let's maybe make it a little bit longer. We do have still a whole bunch of hull capacity left. So we could just make it thicker. Um, there we go. And I'm kind of thinking of this and that. And then do this. Uh, I would love to have like at least one more gun on there. I mean, what we can do over here now is something like this over here and this over there. Where we can bleed through the ammo over there, no problem. Um, this will help us also load up the ship, so that we can only, or only have to load up from one side. Um, and we can do something like this, and then with space underground, we can do this, that. Um, space belt, please, there we go. And this, so this way around, we can fill this thing up as much as we need. We can place you over there. Uh, yeah, put the ammo in there. Where, where did the ammo go? Oh, it's in there. Um, there we go. And if I would be using this correctly, I would notice that we need to do it like this. <laughs> Let's give it one more try. Let's disable this real quick. Put that. Do that. Re-enable this. There we go. And then ammo will go to there. And ammo will go into there. And then this is a good connection. Um, you know what we could do? One further. So we need to extend this. Let's go two more out. Also ignore the base that obviously is being e being eaten somewhere. Um, and we're just going to put down four guns over here. Here we go. So one, two, one, two, and then we just have the same thing over there and over there. This way around, and then. We're just going to make it solid over here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, now, we do need to make it at least a little bit thicker. Maybe even a little bit more. Now, this obviously changes up the design that we had in the landing station on Kuraga. But we can adjust. We can just adjust it. It'll be fine. Good. 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 And then... There we go. There we go. Make it a very furry... Furrow top. There we go. We could also now add some more of these if you want to. Um, maybe. Mm, but keep the power over there. That'll be fine. And then let's have a quick ship integrity check. There we go. Yeah, we got loads of space left. And now we got a bit more of an armored top. We might even... And that's actually a thing we should maybe think about. We might even want to uh, make the walls a little bit thicker at the, at the front. Uh, but this way around, we should be protected well enough against asteroids. And with the double gun over here, or the quadruple gun over here, we should be able to shoot down whatever comes our way. And this should definitely be a more safe design. Good. Then, I did say something about that I do want to open the clamp over here only when we have enough fuel. Now, here's the thing we can do. Uh, we can do something like this. Um, a good. Constant combinator and a decider combinator over here. The constant combinator over here will give us the clamp ID. The clamp ID is going to be... Where is that thing? Which one do we need? It is going to be the signal. Of, say, 10. It's just going to be a random number for now. 
Uh, then you hook up over there and you go into there and that should I was kind of hoping it would set the signal over here. It does not do that. Do we maybe? Oh, because there's no condition yet. Um, we can give it the condition. There we go. And the condition is going to be if um, the liquid that we're going to be storing in here. Let's for, for now say this is going to be heavy oil. If this is less than or equal to zero, then we're just going to pass through uh, the clamp signal. There we go. So... Still, it does not get a signal. I thought for sure we could do this. I didn't test it. I usually test these things live. Um, but I thought we could set the clamp signal over here. Oh, that, that puts a wrench in my plans. Set the ID of a clamp, open the clamp GUI, uh, and change the numeric value of the ID. You never need to change the type of the clamp signal. You can disable an anchor clamp by passing it a red signal. Oh, we can disable it. Then we can do it differently. Um, then we can do it like this. Um, the red signal is over here. So then if this is larger than zero, we just output the red signal. Um, and then... Currently, there's nothing in there. That is true. So let's test it. If it's less than zero, which is also false, it's less than or equal than zero, we passed the red signal. So is this thing now deactivated? It doesn't show us. It doesn't tell us. Also, this is an electric network info as well, as it seems. Um, oh, that's interesting. Is that only for the ship? <laughs> nice. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this correctly or not, but, but you maybe get my drift over here. Um, I want this to only host the ship if we can. Um, so if if the station over here is... Actually, do we really want to do it like that? I think we're overthinking it. We are definitely overthinking it. We are only going to have one of these spaceships at any given time. And these spaceships will be sitting over here until these tanks run empty. Uh, and once these tanks run empty, then we'll leave. I think we're just overdoing it. So let's not overdo it. Let's give this definitely the signal of 10. Um... This one over here will be the same signal of 10. Uh, we're going to have to keep a mental note that 10 is this space over here. Then we're going to have to put in something like this. We will be, we will all need to order up ammo over here. Not quite sure if we actually have ammo in space, but we will definitely need to do something like that. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Over there. Yeah, we don't have any ammo in space. Uh, but that's fine for now. Um, they can just do it like this. We can actually just here... Give you this. There you go. And now you're good to go. Um, you should get power to the connection over here. You should definitely get power to the connection over here. Uh, it might just need to... Yeah, let's put this on over there real quick. Oh. oh. Yeah, we're not connected to the overall power grid. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Now it works. Good. That might have also been an issue over here now that I think about it. Um, let's try this one more time. Um, just to make sure that everything is working as accordingly. Can we override the signal? Uh, let's have a look. It is this signal. Let's give it like some random value. And then hook it up with a wire. And the answer is no. I don't think we can doesn't matter we're, we're going to use other signals for this so then we need to figure out when we want to leave we have full control over uh the knowledge over the tanks over here uh oh in novice orbit that is oh <laughs> well we had a bit of an accident over here um a rocket crash landed over here uh, the bots will pick it up uh it'll be fine um <laughs> That does happen every now and then. That's what you need rocket safety for. Good. Either way, um, we need to have some kind of logic over here where to send the ship and when to send the ship. So let's put down you yet again. You over there. We are going to tell you to which planet to go. Uh, so let's have a look at our... Um, 
list of planets. We want to go to Kuraga. Kuraga is automation signal 1149. So this will be 1149. There we go. That's the correct planet. Um, and then we need to have some kind of requirement when we send out the signal. So we do put this thing down again. And this time around, it's just going to be if heavy oil is less than or is equal to zero, then we're going to pass through. Where is it? Where is it? The planet signal. Mm, there we go. Good. So we can hook up you. Mm, we can hook up you. The red wire is the one that should be passed through over here. We do get the signal in over there. Uh, we do then need to connect the green wire coming in from over here to over there. So you pass out the correct signal. Yes. And it is coming over here. If we would now add this signal over here as well, the spatial blanche signal, then this one over here would start to fly away immediately. Good. We might want to put in another signal over here. We might absolutely want to put down a refueling station over here. Uh, and I'm not quite sure if it's actually going to be a refueling station or maybe just a pump with a tank that is going to be pushing in some fuel over here. Um, that's the thing I still need to decide. I don't really want to make fuel in space like this because we can't really put any productivity modules in there. Uh, and that's a bit sad. Um, so we definitely want to do something like this and something like that. And then, oop. There we go. Do this, please. Uh, how big of a tank do we need? Each one of these does hold 100,000, which is quite a lot. Um, we could just do something like this over here, and then over there, and this over there. And we could think about... Oh, actually... Do it like this, please. There we go. Um, and then we can use this as a similar tank as over here. If we are going to fill this up over here, or maybe fill it up with another rocket, we will see. But for now, this is going to be our platform. And this seems to be perfectly fair. So we're going to have multiples of these, uh, each one of these for a different liquid. But let's maybe start testing it out for this one first. Um, we're good on fuel over here, so there's nothing we need to do over there. We're good for ammo over here. We don't have any ammo resupply, but that is fine for now. We might want to put the door somewhere else, but for now, this is fine as well. So, let's go back to... Let's actually put in the signal over here and see that we can fly back automatically. We also want to put in the, the automatic landing clamp information over here. That is going to be coming for in from you. And... Um... It is going to be this signal 10 and this signal 10, I think. <laughs> we removed it, sadly, but this should be fine because this is anchor to right clamp and this is anchor using spaceship left clamp. This is a left clamp. This is a right clamp. This should be fine. Um, so we're going to put in the signal over here for a spaceship launch. There we go. And of course, we see nothing is happening. Uh, and why is that? Because you are not passing through the signal. We need to set you to everything. And off we go. So that went. We're a little bit stuck in an infinite loop, it seems. What happened? Is this not the correct planet? Excuse me, what? Kuraga. Automation signal? Oh, it's a moon signal. This is a planet signal. Moon signal. I think we need this one. Um, Let's try it one more time. Oh, good time for an autosave. Ah, now it works. <laughs> was a bit confusing, of course. Um, here we go. Good. Yeah, the guns are doing the trick. I don't really think we need lasers on this. I, I, like, having the, I like the idea of having guns on the ship. 
There we go. There we go. Yeah, these, these those big asteroids over there, those are the ones that we have to be careful about. But with the thicker rump over here, we should be fine. Uh, so we've arrived. Um, he does not know where to land, so we have to land manually. Um, and that will be over here then, in this corner. Mm. Where the heavy oil is, which is this part over here. Um, and I'm not quite sure where our clamp is, but we're going to land over here. We're going to move the clamp either way. And this is where we're going to land. Here we go. Good. Uh, which does mean you over there, you need to go over there. You get the same signal, signal 10. There we go. And then we need to move these down a bit. Um, exactly over there. Good. And then this place over here is now slowly filling up with heavy oil. Good. Which will be coming over here from the trains. Speaking of trains, uh, let's have a look at... Everything over here. This one is completely full. This one is partially full. This one is somewhat empty. Uh, fruit oil over there is completely full. That is exactly how I imagined it. Excellent. How is this place doing? Um, you kind of stopped working at some point. Though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. I thought it was this one over here. I just put like a big warehouse over here to process the sand. But that was not the case. There's also lamps. Wait, there's lamps missing over there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> we need to put some lamps over there. That can't be. Also, is it just me or is it a little bit pink over here? <laughs> Good. You get a lamp. You get a lamp. You get a lamp. You get a lamp. So, you ran... Oh, you ran the petroleum gas. That's fine. But we should have more than enough fuel ready for the trains to run. So, that is fine as well. Good. Uh, then, back over here. So this over here should slowly be drained. This over here should slowly be filled up. And here comes the next train. Perfect. Uh, and then we need to set up the automation signal for us to fly back. Before we do anything of that, uh, we do need to move this thing around. And this thing around. Yeah, I think he's fine. Here we go. And then... He is fine. Here we go. So then we have to connect connections over here. This one over here will be signal 11. And you over there, you will be signal 12. So now we have one for each. Then... Um, this thing over here is currently not connected to the power grid. That's not good. We do want it to be connected. Mm, just give me power connections, please. There we go. So you have an air. And you have an air. Good. Um, then via the clamp, we can provide this thing with power so that he will be fine as well. And then we only need one more signal. And that is the automation signal over here. And that will be um, our, our signal to go back. And we're going to do that the same way. So, um, back signal. Let's have a look again. We want to go to novice orbit. That is planet orbit 35. Which means planet orbit 35. Uh, we also add the send signal. Uh, we will only go if our heavy oil in this system over here is more than, equal or more than 600,000. That's the amount of stuff we can put in the tank. And then we're going to pass through every signal. There we go. Uh, this is something that is about to happen. So let's stay on the inside of the ship. Um, and then just hook up the wire. So the red wire is the wire that takes control. And the green wire is the wire that gives us information. Careful. Do not hook it up in, from the wrong space. There we go. So this one over here is now checking how much um, heavy oil we have in the system. And once we reach more than 600,000, it will pass all the signals back through over here um, and back into the air. And one of those signals is the takeoff signal and our destination. And then with this, we should have heavy oil automated. 
Uh, the only thing that we don't have on the other side is a requirement to check that we have enough fuel. We only need to check for fuel on one side. Um, maybe even on both sides. Um, and since we do plan on making fuel over here on this planet, I think we should put a refueling station over here and not over where we do our... Um, uh, on, on our space platform. Because over here we can at least use productivity modules. Also, I am going to place a second one of these. Bet I have another one of these. Just to be safe, rather than sorry. It'll be fine. Let's have a look at the signal. We're still missing 700,000. Um, coming in slowly. But we'll be there any minute. And then we're just going to fly back with this thing one more time. And then we can see that the cycle is going to be completed. Good. Wait for it, wait for it. It's a bit weird to see that yeah, you've got the connection, you've got the connection, you've got enough liquid in there. Yeah, the filling up over here is not optimal. And I think it's all because of this small pipe over here. Because everything needs to go through this small pipe and then it needs to go either way. Um, yeah, this, this is not the best way of filling up this thing over here. We should maybe make the whole ship a little bit wider. So then we also have a pump like this on the other side. That would make it easier. But this one is not full. This one is full. And this one is about to be full. Come on. Trickle over. Oh, it's it's so slow in the end. <laughs> uh, we do have the space to redesign the ship a little bit more. But mm, we will have to think about it. I mean, then again, this one really does not need to be to go super duper fast. The amount of oil or the amount of oil products that we put into here uh, is vastly superior than anything we need. Um, and this one over here is just going to slow down slowly and slowly and slowly. Um, you know what we could do? Just make it slightly less. <laughs> Off we go! <laughs> Good. And then we automatically fly back. Here we go. We should also automatically land in the correct position. So we have to arrive. That's going to take some time. And you will probably also notice that unloading will be way faster than loading. Because over here we do have more or less tank to tank unloading. And you will see how this little pipe over here is... Not optimal. And the more I think about it, the more I would say we do need to fix this place up. Uh, because there we go. We now start to unload over here. We pump over here at a rate of 2,200 over here into these tanks over there. These tanks then push it over there. And yes. So, deactivate you. Uh, we're going to make the ship wider. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a bit of a rebuild. Uh, but this is definitely working as intended for automation purposes. So, um, yep, yeah, I mean, come on, let's rip that wall out. And then, how much wider does it need to be? Well, it needs to be this much wider. Um, like, wait, let's line over there. One, two, three. That's the amount of extra space that we need to. And I was saving a lot of space. I mean, hull stress. We still have a lot of hull stress we can add. So I think we will be fine just by adding more of this. And it will also make the ship look a little bit more symmetric. Oop! Good lift off. <laughs> because then we can put in something like this, that, and this. This, that, and this. Uh, we can then rip out this one over there. That is just horrible. Here we go. And then we just move you out by one. And move you over there. That makes this look better. Good. Uh, we're still unloading heavy oil over there. Excellent. And then the only thing we need to do is to make this part over here look a bit better. Uh, let's pick up these real quick. And those. Um, we could maybe try to... I can't flip this. Eh. Well... Then let's try to recreate it. Let's maybe try to copy this. Only tiles. We could be able. We should be able to flip those. Um, and then let's have a look at this one. This one is sitting like this. 
I think it is. Let's have a look. Uh, and then we could... Hmm. It's definitely... Wait a minute. Oh, now, now, it's, now it's completely weird. What, what happened over here now? <laughs> um, this one is fine. But I think we need it like this. There we go. There we go. Bots, could you please build this for me? Yeah, this is looking correct. And then... Engine. Engine. Just take that. I mean, store more, more. Ah, uh, wait, store more stuff in there. Wait a minute. Uh, let, let's just make the wall over here. But I think that will not be. That will be a no-go. Uh, also, we probably need to make um, the front a little bit better. Mm. There we go. Uh, which means with you, 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 and then you. For now, I'm just going to do this real quick, just to see uh, the ship stats. But I think these extra tanks over here are going to be putting us uh, over the limit. Here we go. Do the scan. Yeah, now we're over. So, I think I can just pick this one up. Fuel should move around. There we go. So, that is correct. We could just do something like this. And then, something like this. And then, we have the same situation over here. This will even itself out. Um, and then the only thing we need to do over here is what the hell happened over here? <laughs> um, I guess we make the snoot bigger, uh, which also means we do need to rebuild everything in here as well. Good. Uh, I also looked at the time, but that will probably take us in for now for Spaceship Automations. I will give this a finishing touch over here to make it look all nice and great. Um, and then we will have our final version of our liquid cargo ship. Uh, this is definitely the better idea. It, it still looks nice. It's still big and sturdy enough. And even if we do have some dead space in here, that space actually does not really cost us that much in this um, game as in other games. Uh, I do hope that we can at least move the spaceship console without venting or uh, losing all the settings over there, but that will be fine. Good! So, if you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel to something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where I do even more Factorio. Uh, we also have some GTFO in there, some Rimworld. Um, Captain of Industry will be coming to the channel soon as well. Check it out for yourself, and without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening, and until next time, see you around!